This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So far we've worked with sound effects as audio files, but there's a plugin in Pro Tools that lets us treat sound effects as musical instruments. So let's see how that works. So for this we want one stereo instrument. So I will do shift command N, choose stereo and instrument in ticks. And I have a MIDI keyboard hooked up, but right now I'm not seeing any input. This is something I've been wanting to show you because it's a kind of a gotcha sometimes in Pro Tools. So I will make a MIDI track. I'm going to hold down my command key and switch to MIDI. And if I light that up and swipe my keyboard, I can see it showing up. So why isn't it patched to this instrument? Well, the instrument doesn't have anything on it yet. So let's do that. So let's jump to the mix window and add this plugin. So multi channel, instrument, and structure free. So more about the free part here in a second. So we'll add the plugin. It's over there. Let's bring it front and center. And there it is. So let's finish the part about MIDI triggering this now. So I know that I'm seeing stuff in MIDI. And if I switch over to the instrument now, and I move this fellow out of the way and take a look at my input, move him out of the way that way. Now I see that I'm actually triggering MIDI onto my structure plugin. So if you're checking your MIDI input by simply opening up an instrument and you don't have a plugin in it, it doesn't know where to send it, and so it actually won't show up there as an output. So I just wanted to go through that because some people think their MIDI isn't arriving into Pro Tools when it really is. So now we don't need this MIDI track, so I will get rid of it. And we are sending MIDI over to Structure. Now, Structure Free. This is a plugin that, it's kind of a teaser plugin that ships with Pro Tools. And they'll let you kind of explore and see if you want the real thing. Now, the real thing is available from Avid. And this page, which you can get to by simply typing structure up here in the search, you can find out if you like structure and see if it's working for you. And this tells you a little bit more about it. So the free version that we're going to work with comes with Pro Tools. The unfree version is something you buy, and you'll need to upgrade it as time goes on. But the free version will let you decide if it's something you can use, and then you can see if you want to invest in the real thing. Okay, so let's jump back to Pro Tools, and let's take a look at this plugin. So we have buttons for solo and mute. We have a volume slider, a panner from left to right and then a choice for MIDI input and some controls here on the right. So if you're not familiar with sampling, what we're doing here is bringing a sound or a series of sounds to the keyboard so we can play them like a musical instrument. We can do this with piano sounds or drum sounds or dogs barking or light bulbs or human voices or room tone, whatever we can record. And triggering a sound from the keyboard has advantages over dragging it and dropping it into the timeline, like we've been doing in the previous movies. So structure is how we assign sounds to the keys of our keyboard. So let's see how these patches are put together. Structure opens with a sine wave across the keyboard. So if I hit A above middle C, I get 440 cycles. If you want to change that, you could transpose this. Let's take this up an octave. So same key, it's now an octave higher. You can do this deal here, or you can slide this guy around, or you can type in the box. Let's take it up two octaves and... Okay. So back in the pitch shift, we had the ability to do coarse and fine. So that's roughly equivalent to semitones and fine tuning here. They give us one more choice here, octaves. So we can actually move it up and down octaves. And that's like a big group of 12 semitones. So if you're new to music and having trouble adjusting to these terms, that's what all that means. All right. Now the pitch bend. Let me take this guy back to his normal octave. 
So the pitch bend is a controller on the MIDI keyboard, and I need to lean over here and wiggle it for you. So there's my A. So I'm moving the pitch wheel, and I can send it up some number. And by the way, these numbers keep going here down below. So that's two full octaves. So let's do that. And let's send it down two full octaves. And I will sweep it from the lowest to the highest so you can hear that. Okay, so lots of choices here for how to manipulate these sounds in real time. And by the way, I've really just created a theremin. If I hit a note and wiggle the pitch bend, I'm getting pitches in real time on a sine wave, and that's essentially the theremin sound. So you can set the keyboard range for any sound. This sine wave is patched from the lowest key to the highest key. And we can set it simply for one octave or two octaves, or it could share the keyboard with other sounds that's pitched to a different octave or occupy just one note on the keyboard. So how could that help you? Well, let's say you're doing post-production on a TV show and you use a lot of the same sounds every week because the lead character has an office and a home and a car and those sounds don't change from week to week. So you could set up the phone sound on one key and the door slam on another key, and the car starting on another key, and your whole keyboard would be the sounds you use for that show, and then you could fly them in at the right spot in the movie a lot faster than you could by dragging and dropping into the timeline. And remember, this is MIDI, so if you miss, it's easy to re-trigger the MIDI event, to edit the MIDI event. All right, so that's a quick look at Structure Free, and in the next movie, we'll look a little deeper.